Okay, in this lesson, we want to start looking at uh, using functions in Python. Uh, and functions are kind of like reusable kind of snippets of code that we can repeatedly use. Uh, we're going to work through some turtle graphics uh, you know, problems and learn how to do functions and maybe think a little bit algorithmically. So here is what our ultimate goal is. So it's going to look something like this. Okay, so you can see we're drawing four separate shapes. Um, we have a square, triangle, uh, what pentagon, and a hexagon. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. And we'll work our way through, you know, learn a little bit about functions along the way. Okay, so let's start out with the real basics. So uh, we just need to, we're going to create separate functions for square and triangle. So we need to import turtle. Now we're on Python 2.7, so the capitalization will be different if you're on Python 3. Um, so we're going to create our function. So we're going to call it draw square, not just square. We want to call it draw square, so we know it's going to draw a square for us. Um, notice there's nothing here. It's empty, and that will become important later. So a square has four sides, so I in range 0 to 4. Don't forget the little colon at the end and to indent properly. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to take our turtle, go forward and 50 pixels and then turn, oops, that should be left, turn left 90 pixels and it's going to do it four times. And what we want to do at the very end of that is we want to make the turtle go forward again so that our shapes do not overlap each other. So let's just test that for a second. Um, so I'm going to say uh, draw square and then also at the end I need a delay so it doesn't close on us automatically. Um, put to finish. Okay, this is not a very exciting program but just to, to go over this um, you know we've imp imported the turtle module We've defined our function. The name of the function is draw underscore square. Uh, we are not sending any arguments. We have no variables here, so we can skip that. We're gonna, we have a little loop. It's going to go through four times. It's going to go forward 50 pixels, turn left 90 degrees, and then repeat that four times, and then go to forward 50. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay. And actually, let me just fix that because I want that to go a little bit farther. So instead of 50, I'm going to make that 75. So let's run it. So you can see how it went just a little bit farther here. And so that's way I can start my triangle for the next one. So let's uh, close that. So you can see how we have one function for drawing a square. And now we're going to make a new function called draw triangle. And again, we're not passing any arguments or values. So for I in range, again, this is only going to have three sides. So turtle.fd50. Now for a square, it was four 90 degree angles. Four times 90 is 360. For a triangle, uh, we're going to be turning. So turtle.left. 120 because 360 divided by 3 is 120. So that's where that number comes from. And then the same thing at the end, turtle.fd75. Okay, so down here I call the function triangle. And let's run it. Oops, error. Oops, for i. Surprisingly difficult to type and talk at the same time. So run in terminal. Okay, so you can see we, we drew a square, drew our triangle. Uh, now just to make our program a little bit look a little bit nicer, I don't want to start from the center. Um, so I'm going to say turtle dot go to, and I'll have it start out at minus two fifty and zero. And let's just make four of these. So I'm going to save it. So it's basically draw a square, comes up, draws a square, comes back down, draw a triangle, jumps up, draws a triangle, comes down, draw a square, 
Okay, draw a triangle. So let's run it, and this is our final result. Okay, so that's it.